Okay, fifth graders. This is uh, this is twelve dash four. Um, pages. Uh, I guess it's five oh two and five oh three and uh, five zero four that we'll be doing. So we're talking about metrics, um, metric links. And uh, here it states that the most commonly used metric units of length are the kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. Kilometer is, um, oh man, how many kilometers are in a mile? I'm not sure, I wanna say 2.2, .2, but I'm not positive about that. I think I've already told you guys what a meter was. A meter is approximately a yard. If you were to look at your doorknob and from your doorknob to the floor, that's about what a meter is, about a yard. Centimeter, uh, it's around an inch. Um, again, I haven't looked as, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't thought about uh, comparing those two, an inch and a centimeter for a while. I can't quite remember. Centimeter is a little bit less than an inch, I think, actually. And a millimeter is really small. I mean, it's, um, oh gosh, I'm trying to think of something that would be a millimeter, uh, you know, an eighth of an inch, a very short, very short length. Um, so, uh, this piece right here I cut out, actually, and I moved it down to the next page. You guys are going to be uh, flipping back and forth, probably using that. And, um, and it says here, to change from uh, larger units to smaller units, you multiply. This should be familiar to, to you guys by now. And to change from smaller units to larger units, you would divide. And how much you would multiply and how much you would divide would depend apart, depend on how far apart they are. So um, um, let's see here. Let's move down and look at the next page for a moment. And it says to find the number of meters in six kilometers, why do you multiply six times three to the tenth? Um, so to convert, to convert from um, larger units to smaller units, you multiply. Okay. Then it says convert 12.5 centimeters to millimeters. Okay. And so we're going from smaller to even smaller. So 12 so 12.5 centimeters, okay, is um I, oh, not 12.5. What is it? Yeah, it is 12.5. Um, let's see here. So, uh, trying to think how I can phrase this. Um, well, okay, so 12 centimeters, um, is 120 millimeters. 13 centimeters is 130 millimeters. So what do you think 12.5 would be? Okay, think about that for a moment. Well, you should have come up with, how about 125 millimeters? Okay. How about number three, 10 to the third centimeters is equal to how many meters? So centimeters, okay, this is what we're talking about. And we're going to meters. We're going to move the decimal two places. Two places. So um, this would end up being 10 meters. Okay, because 1,000. And here's the decimal in 1,000. We move it two places, so it becomes 10. Now, 
Number four, uh, 58 meters is equivalent to how many millimeters? Okay, so we're talking about meters and we're going to millimeters. So we're moving the decimal three places. So here's 58. The decimal's right there. If we move the decimal three places, we're getting a lot. Uh, um, it's going to be a, a much larger number. Um, it's going to be moved three places. One, two, three. So it becomes 58,000. Number five, a thousand millimeters is equivalent to how many centimeters? Okay, here's a millimeter, and we're going to centimeters. Moving the decimal one place. You should be able to figure that one out. Um, number six, three kilometers is equivalent to how many meters? Well, how many meters are in a kilometer? There's a thousand meters in one kilometer. So three kilometers is 3,000 meters. All right. Did I start a recording? Gosh, I hope I, st yeah, I did. Good. For a second, I thought I didn't start it. You can do seven and eight. Um, Let's look at 11 here. 0.8 kilometers is how many centimeters? So we're going from kilometers, okay, kilometers all the way to, whoop, went too far. Kilometers all the way to centimeters, all right? And so um, 0.8. So we're going to move it one, two, three, four, looks like five times. So if we have 0.8 and I move it five times, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, that would be 80,000 centimeters. I think you guys are starting to see how these work, I hope. It's hard to tell when I don't have the class sitting here in front of me. Um, let's see here. How about number 19? Number 19 uh, looks like 7,500,000 meters, less than, greater than, or equal to 750 kilometers. Well, what's the difference between the kilometers and meters? Three places. So where's the decimal right here? So one, two, three, 7,500. And so it's that would be greater than 750. Okay. 21 and 22, one kilometer. This is 21 I'm looking at here. One kilometer is a thousand meters. Okay. Um, a half a kilometer or 0.5 of a kilometer is 500 meters. And 0.1 would be 100 meters. And these two little charts might help you guys with some of the other problems. Uh, meters and centimeters. So 5,000 centimeters, going to move the decimal two places, okay, because here's centimeters, here's meters, moving the decimal two places, so that becomes 50 meters, and five meters is how many centimeters, move the decimal two places, that's 500. So between meters and centimeters, you're moving the decimal two places, whether it's larger or smaller. And then 0.5 of a meter, move it two places, that's going to be 50. All right. Um, last page. Let's see here. Um, let's 
see here. How many millimeters are equal to one kilometer? Show your work. How many millimeters are equal to one kilometer? So one kilometer, okay, is equal to um, a thousand meters. All right. And one meter, one of those thousand meters, but one of those is equal to what? How many millimeters? A thousand millimeters. All right. So what do we have to do here? You're going to multiply a thousand times a thousand. What do you end up with? How many zeros is that total? So that's going to be one million millimeters. Okay, there's 24 done for you. Looking at the rest of these. I think you guys can do the rest of these. How about the fractions? 25 here, which is greater, 7 eighths or 9 twelfths? What are you going to do here? Divide 7. 7 divided by 8, you're going to get a decimal. And then divide 9 by 12, you're going to get a decimal. Which one's larger? That's how you would figure that one out. Okay, I'm going to end this. You guys enjoy your weekend, and I will see you Monday morning. And remember, no office hours today. No Friday. No office hours today okay talk to you guys monday